Hello, and welcome to The Signal, Workplace NL's health and safety podcast. Workplace NL is the Workers' Compensation Board in Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. The focus is to promote safe and healthy workplaces, provide return-to-work programs, and offer compensation to injured workers and their dependents. This series of podcasts will provide you with the latest information on how workplaces can protect the health and safety of workers. Please enjoy the show. I'm your host, Colin Fuhr, and today we're going to talk about mental health first aid. Mental health first aid is the support provided to a person who may be experiencing a decline in their mental well-being or a mental health crisis. The Mental Health Commission of Canada reports that one in every five Canadians experiences a mental health problem in any given year. This lack of understanding leads to negative attitudes or stigma towards people who live with these problems. It stops people from seeking help for themselves. When we don't know that someone is having difficulty with their mental health, then that prevents us from being able to support them with what they need. For this podcast, I'm joined by my co-host, Deanne Feltham-Scott, Occupational Health and Safety Educational Consultant with Workplace NL. Thanks for joining me, Deanne, and perhaps you would like to introduce our guest. Thank you, Colin. Thank you for having me here today. I'm very excited to welcome John Dean to our uh, show today. John is a certified mental health first aid trainer here in the province. He's also employed by the CMHA or the Canadian Mental Health Association here in St. John's as the workplace mental health coordinator. He brings many years of experience in helping workplaces to develop into psychologically healthy and safe spaces for everyone to work. Thank you, Deanne, and thank you, Colin, for having me. Glad you could be here, John. John, I briefly described mental health first aid in the introduction. Can you give us some more details about mental health first aid? Mental health first aid is an interactive workshop that teaches participants how to recognize the signs and symptoms of mental health problems, provide initial help, and guide a person towards appropriate professional help. So just like CPR training helps individuals with no clinical training to assist an individual following a heart attack, mental health first aid training helps an individual assist someone experiencing a mental health crisis such as suicide behaviour. In both situations, the goal is to help support an individual until appropriate professional help is identified. Individuals with mental health first aid certification learn a single action plan that includes assessing risk, respectfully listening to and supporting the individual in crisis, and identifying appropriate professional help and other supports that can be applied in many situations. Participants are introduced to risk factors and warning signs for mental health problems. These build their understanding of the impact of illness and on individuals and families and allow them to learn about evidence-supported treatments and self-help strategies. So there's a lot that we can learn when we take the mental health first aid course. And I understand that part of what we learn in the courses in the course is different types of crisis interventions. Can you just give us a little bit more detail on what some of the crisis interventions that participants will be learning as part of their training? Yes, absolutely, Deanne. Um, Participants are also taught how to provide effective crisis intervention in a variety of situations. And these can include a panic attack, suicide behavior, substance overdose, acute stress reaction, and psychotic episodes. In addition to crisis interventions, participants learn how to have a confident and effective conversation about mental health, regardless of whether someone is in crisis or not. This includes recognizing signs and symptoms of declining mental well-being or noticing a change in someone's behavior and starting a conversation with that person. Wow, it sounds like a lot of great information uh, covered, John. Can you tell us why this is important? Well, uh, Colin, the evidence behind the program demonstrates that it builds mental health literacy, decreases stigmatizing attitudes, and helps individuals identify, understand, and respond to signs of mental illness. Also, mental health first aid is important because early intervention has uh, better outcomes in helping someone. Professional help is not always on hand, so we may need to be the person to help that person. People often do not know how to help or respond to someone. And not everyone seeks uh, treatment or realizes they need help. Many people are not uh, well informed about mental health problems. And there is also the stigma associated with mental health problems. So we need to have resources uh, 
like ourselves maybe with mental health first aid in order to respond to any situation that may come about. So the course certainly sounds like it can benefit many workplaces across the province and help to end the stigma of mental health and mental illness. When I was doing research for this podcast, I read that since 2007, 500,000 Canadians have taken the course. Who should take the Mental Health First Aid course? Well, the end, um, Mental Health First Aid is intended for everyone. So since 2007, Mental Health First Aid has been offered in every sector and region of Canada, encompassing friends and families of individuals with a mental illness or condition, uh, workplaces, primary care, secondary and post-secondary educational institutions, government, construction, youth and community development programs. John, in my role as Young Worker Occupational Health and Safety Consultant, I primarily deal with our young worker demographic. Now, I know that youth are employed across all industries in our province, and in some industries, youth actually make up the bulk of their workforce. Is there a minimum age for young workers to take mental health first aid? Well, Colin, mental health first aid courses are meant for adults 18 plus and focus on how adults can provide effective help with mental health issues. The Mental Health First Aid Adults Who Interact With Youth course is unique because it is for people over the age of 16. It teaches specifically about youth population age 12 to 25. The reason the course is recommended for adults is because the content can be, on, can be beyond the level of someone younger than 16. This is based on life experience, exposure, and ability to engage in effective discussions. I'm really interested to know the topics that are covered in the mental health first aid training. What are some of them? And can you just give us a, a brief description of, uh, of what they are? Yes, absolutely. The end uh, course addresses four of the most common and most stigmatized mental health disorders and includes signs and symptoms, risk factors, and crisis first aid for specific situations. So one of the ones they cover is substance-related disorders, and that talks also about crisis first aid for overdose, and also mood-related disorders, which also covers crisis first aid for suicidal behavior, anxiety and trauma-related disorders, which covers crisis first aid for panic attack, crisis first aid for acute stress reaction, and psychotic disorders, which covers off crisis first aid for psychotic episodes. Additional sections are included in other specific courses. So non-suicide self-injury is covered off in the adults who interact with youth course. And also feeding and eating disorders is also covered off in adults who interact with youth. Delirium and dementia are covered off in the Mental Health First Aid for Seniors course. So I teach uh, several of those courses, the Mental Health First Aid basic or standard course and the Mental Health First Aid for youth and also the Mental Health First Aid for Seniors course. Let's say, for example, that I'm a participant. Would I need to have any skills or training before taking Mental Health First Aid training? No, uh, absolutely not, Colin. Uh, You don't need any skills or training before taking the course. Um, The course teaches participants to recognize the signs that a person may be experiencing a decline in their mental well-being or mental health crisis and how to provide initial help and guide that person to appropriate professional resources. The course is designed to be accessible and helpful for everyone, regardless of their background. I'm sure that uh, many of our listeners here today are wondering where they can access or participate in a mental health first aid course. Uh, Where can they do it? And is it accessible online? All the courses that CMHANL offers are posted on their website. Uh, to find an in-person course, uh, you can go to cmhanl.ca and search our events and training section, or you can contact me, the Workplace Mental Health Coordinator, at jdin at cmhanl.ca, and I should be able to help you connect you with a course. Uh, we're always updating the courses, so please check back often. Uh, we do offer the Mental Health First Aid Standard and the Mental Health First Aid Supporting Youth through virtual delivery. So these courses are virtual adaptations of the in-person courses, and they are made up of a uh, one-section self-directed module and two live uh, webinars with a facilitator. 
lots of options for sure. Uh, John, of course, we know that many training courses require certificate holders to be recertified. Do participants need to be recertified in mental health first aid? Uh, it's not required, uh, Colin, but mental health first aid uh, does, rec- does, you know, uh, recommend that you do get recertification for participants. So they do recommend you retake the cert- uh, mental health first aid course every three years to re- refresh your skills. The participants manual and the reference guide are also great resources that people certified in mental health first aid can use to keep their knowledge up to date. Many of us have certainly been challenged with our mental health uh, in the last two years. There's been tons of research that has been uh, that has been completed, and they've certainly seen a decline in people's mental health, especially when it comes to anxiety and uh, and depression. Have you seen more of an interest in uh, in workplaces and in with employers and workers? in having you come in and conduct mental health first aid training with workers. Yes, um, absolutely, Deanne. Um, We're starting to get a lot more requests from workplaces to have uh, uh, not only mental health first aid training, for other mental health training for their staff. I think workplaces are starting to realize now through the pandemic and the impact it's had on people's overall health and their mental health that they need to be doing things to be proactive, to look after not just, uh, you know, personal protective equipment, but things that people can use to protect their mental health. And we spend about 60% of our waking hours in our workplaces. Mm -hmm. So our workplace can be very uh, impactful on our mental health, especially now where everyone's under a lot of stress and strain because of COVID. A lot of our uh, things that we were able to do before to relieve our stress and anxiety and we're never as accessible. So we're seeing a lot more workplaces um, see the benefits of uh, mental health in the workplaces and uh, contacting us for more mental health uh, first aid training and other trainings for their staff to look after their staff's overall health because uh, all of us have mental health and uh, we all have to do whatever we can to look after it and uh, uh, if anything, the pandemic has brought that out to us, that um, the echo effect of the from the pandemic of looking after our mental health now. We've, we did a great job mm-hmm. of getting through the pandemic and looking after our uh, physical health and that and, you know, socially isolating and follow protocols. But now we have to do things that look after our overall mental health. And uh, it's good to see that workplace there. Uh, looking for more mental health training and mental health first aid is a great course to to help anyone in a workplace. So John, you've certainly done a great job of explaining the benefits of the mental health first aid training. Can you speak to any feedback that you've received from those that have participated in the training? Well, yeah, absolutely, Colin. So every every training that we do, um, it's evidence-based. So we always... uh, and the Mental Health Commission of Canada, are, uh, they operate the course, so they require us to get feedback from all the participants. So a lot of the times when we look at the feedback we get from participants, um, they generally uh, you know, say they're very grateful for the course. They see the benefits of it. And they, they, they learn a lot of things that they can not only apply in their work lives, but in their personal lives. So things that they can take away to look after their own mental health and well-being and look after those in their own families or co-workers and that. So we're finding that there's a lot of uh, feedback of people are learning things that they didn't know before. Uh, They're gaining more knowledge and they're also, more importantly, gaining the skills to help themselves but also help others, uh, help the family members, friends, relatives uh, and their co-workers. So it's uh, really good and uh, breaking down the stigma of mental health that's the big part as well uh, it helps people realize that uh, like we all talk about one in five of us can experience a mental illness in any given year uh, well five and five of us have mental health all the time and so it's, it's bringing out the point that all of us have to look after our mental health and uh, that's one good thing that mental health first aid brings out to people the necessity to look after our overall health and one of the the main domains of that 
is uh, m- mental health. And uh, Mental Health Commission Canada often says that there is no men- there is no health without mental health. So again, uh, a lot of people are finding the importance of that. Absolutely, a lot of great takeaways from this training, and and that seems like a, a good spot, a good note to end it on. So, uh, I'd like to thank you, John, for joining us today to tell us about mental health first aid, and also my thanks to Deanne for co-hosting this important podcast. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Colin, for inviting me here to join uh, with John. I certainly uh, enjoyed it. Yes, thank you very much, Deanne. Thank you, uh, Colin, for having me. I really appreciate it. I think the overall message to take away from today's podcast is that we all have the right to work in a healthy and safe workplace that includes finding psychological hazards and lowering the risk of harm to or injury to workers. Mental health first aid is one of the tools that we can all have in our toolbox at work every day to help those around us who may be experiencing a decline in their mental health or a mental health crisis. If you are interested in becoming certified, please visit mhfa.ca to find a course or a trainer near you. Thank you for joining us today. Transcripts are available to use in your workplace to increase workers' knowledge in various occupational health and safety topics. Visit WorkplaceNL.ca for more information on the services we provide to workplaces. Feel free to share the signal on social media to improve workplace health and safety everywhere. Thank you, and have a safe and healthy day.